I've got this great new little microscope, very inexpensive model, a digital microscope. It's called Digital Microscope. It's called Pluggable uh, Digital Microscope. And it was a gift for Christmas. And I have it hooked up to my tablet. It's an Android tablet. And if you look, you can see some electronics here. That is um, a little, maybe a voltage regulator and a capacitor with SMD that I did a long time ago on a clock circuit. And um, I'm going to show you uh, the magnifying glass, the, the, the microscope which you can see right there. And you've seen other videos of this microscope. And it's pretty cool. I, I'm very impressed. And here is the tablet. And you can even read the writing on that tiny part. Now look how tiny that part is. Let me see if I can show you how tiny that part is. That part is right there. So you can see, here's my finger. I can get my finger in here. How big my finger is and how tiny those parts are. And now I'm gonna move it back. Pardon my clumsiness with this um, this video, but um, let me see if I can get that adjusted nice. Now I'm going to try and get the microprocessor. Well, here's one microprocessor, and I can focus a little better. Look at how that focuses. So you could see I barely was able with a soldering iron to do this microprocessor. And you could see there are no bridges. So here's another, uh, that's a transistor Q1. Those are two resistors. And those resistors, I would say, are, um, I forget the numbers. They're uh, not 402s, but the next size up. And uh, they're not 805s. They're smaller than 805s and bigger than 402s. So here's the microprocessor. So if I get the light just right, you can read the writing on the microprocessor, which is really hard to read. Let's see if I can focus that. There it is. And you can see I had trouble with this microprocessor. I did have some uh, bridges that I fixed to get the clock to work. And you can see I could tilt this a little. So this is really cool. So I'm going to use this maybe just to examine my work after I do it. Let's go over here. Here's some uh, basic uh, SMD soldering. And you see the um, capacitor on the right. And three transistors. And this is quite the little microscope. So how much bigger? I mean, compare. I don't know if you can see that. 
you can see how small that is. So this might take some getting used to as far as um, making videos. But I could definitely use this to solder. If I turn this tablet and I look at the tablet, I will be able to solder by um, just, uh, here's my soldering iron. It's cold right now. But you can imagine I could get the soldering iron right into one of those spots. Right? Let's get the other side right into one of these spots and get the tip of the soldering iron right there or just drag it across if I wanted to. I think I can do that. So this is pretty cool and it uses a program called Camera FI2 and uh, that will work on an Android. Um, it works on my cell phone and it works on this tablet. I needed an OTG connector. The, um, the camera comes with a USB, uh, the kind that goes right into the computer, the square one. I forget what they call it, the USB 2, 2. And um, this is a USB-C that goes into the... Um, the Android device and I had another one I have another one that's a uh, USB 2 to USB mini uh, not the mini but the micro I think it's called the micro um, that was later after the mini and that worked on some old cell phone and uh, I have an old fire an old Kindle fire but it didn't work on that so um, yeah, so I'm pretty impressed. I really like this. And this was an excellent gift. And uh, I would definitely recommend this. I'll see how I do soldering with it. Maybe I won't be able to solder with it. But as you can see, I have it right on my soldering pad. And I have my ma magnifying glass, which I'll use to solder. Or if maybe I'll use the microscope with the... Um, I'll just move that uh, move that tablet over where I can see my work and uh, as I'm working. So that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, definitely a thumbs up for this one. Give me a like, a rumble, subscribe please. I appreciate subscribers.